Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is the daily news for September 26, 2020. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you that creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful, or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back, and to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So, yes, the daily news for September 26, 2020. Let's go ahead and get started. These cards are pre-shuffled. I'm going to just do one extra shuffle just so we can get some general energy here, right? This is a general reading, so... Uh, don't really count on the signs, right? Just take what resonates and leave the rest. General energy for the daily news for September 26, 2020 is the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords, you know, is a very intelligent person, very strategic and ambitious. So this is the energy, somebody who is intelligent, ambitious, uses strategy. So let's see what else we got going on here. We got three cards for the daily news for September 26, 2020. Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So this Queen of Swords could be mourning over the loss of a situation. So a situation is ended. A relationship is, is done. It's over with and somebody's really sad about it. And, uh, you know... Heartbreak is hard, but uh, we move on, right? So first of all, we have the Ace of Swords. Somebody found out some truth, right? Or somebody's going to bring in some truth. And I think that truth is going to end up being something that somebody didn't want to hear. Yeah. yeah, and it's coming from the Knight of Swords bringing in that truth. Now, either that truth is going to save this relationship or it's going to end it, but it seems like with that Five of Cups right there, it's a possible ending that's going to happen for the Queen of Swords or whoever's in that energy. Yeah, King of Wands in the reverse. This is a person who just doesn't know how to manifest, doesn't know how to make things happen. Not very passionate. Um, not very skilled at, you know, things, you know. It's kind of like a person that kind of knows a little bit about stuff, but not everything, you know, so they can't really complete things, right? And they struggle, they struggle to com complete things. And this is why somebody here is in the energy of the Queen of Swords with the Five of Cups energy, right? Yeah. Or it could be this Queen of Coins. Oh. Interesting. It appears that the wheel is turning for somebody. Let's go ahead and find out what these are. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Why is the Ace of Swords here, please? We have the Knight of Cups, the Two of Wands. Why else is that Eight of Swords here? And we have the Queen of Swords again. There she is. So we have the Two of Cups in the reverse, and then we have the Four of uh, Wands. So somebody's lost um, interest in a relationship, right? There's no more emotions in there in this, in this union. And that's why, you know, we end up at the Five of Cups.
somebody's coming in with some information about wish fulfillment, right? They want to have this heated conversation about that. And they want to have that communication with this Queen of Swords in the reverse. But the Queen of Swords in the reverse, you know, yeah. This information that comes in, she this is going to put her in the reverse, right? Now, either she's not going to make a very intelligent move, or she's just really friggin' pissed off when she finds out what happened. Huh. I guess she's really pissed off <laughs> with that double confirmation right there. So, yeah, she's, she's pissed off. Um, she could be pissed off about, you know, not making a right choice. And, and you know, and the, and the, that could be because she didn't make the right choice in the past, right? She's going to find out what's going on here, and that's really going to piss her off. Because she may have wanted wish, yeah, she wanted wish fulfillment, and something, some news is going to come in that's going to, it's going to bring imbalance is what it's going to do. It's going to bring confusion. Somebody's not going to know what to do then. They're going to be like, whoa, well, what should I do now, right? What can I do now? Because plans were set in motion, possibly, and not anymore. Some truth comes out about something. Why is this Knight of Swords here? Why is this Knight of Swords here? Knight of Swords, please. Five of Wands. Now somebody could either be in their head or arguing with somebody, or, or they could be uh, using alcohol and drugs or being codependent or something. That's devil energy right there, yeah. Devil energy. Somebody's going to be deceived. This news that comes in, somebody's going to feel like they were deceived, right? And they're going to be left out in the cold. And it's going to be because of the information that they're going to receive. Somebody may lose money. Somebody may be turned away. People may turn their back on this individual. Somebody is. Maybe this Queen of Swords will. Yeah. Queen of Swords is going to turn her back on whoever's bringing in this information. She wants the truth. The Queen of Swords always wants the truth, and she's going to get it. And she's going to be feeling really backstabbed over it once they talk. And then after that, somebody's going to feel left out in the cold. Yep, lost some money, maybe turned away, um, getting kicked out, something. Why is this King of Wands in the reverse? This person's not even going to defend themselves in this situation. They're just like, whatever. They don't even care. They don't. They're, the King of Wands has no passion. So this person, you know, maybe somebody might say, well, you know, um, I kind of am going to be dating around too, or I found someone else or some of this guy's. I don't care. They're not even going to care. But, you know, it's mostly because this person doesn't want to work on whatever this is anymore. Maybe because they think there's a lot of competition or something. Let me see. There he is again. Now he's in the upright. So what I'm getting here is this person's going to try to appear a certain way. Right? This person is going to try to appear a certain way. But low-key, deep down, he is in the upright. He is a manifester. He is skilled, you know. He's a transformer, not a Decepticon. Ah, just kidding, you guys. That was dumb, I know. <laughs> but, um, yeah. That's what this... So this person is going to act like, oh, yeah, I don't care, whatever. They, they can do whatever they want. I don't, I don't really care. But deep down inside, they are so worried about the competition. Yeah, they are. 
They're worried deep down inside. But they don't want to show it. You know, they don't want to show it. They don't want anybody to think anything. You know, they want to be like, oh, whatever. Who cares? I don't care. But they do. Mm-hmm. A struggle to make sense of events. They're not struggling anymore. They know the truth. They know what's up. They totally know what's up. But they're still going to act like or appear to be like, you know, they don't care, but low-key they do. Hmm. Of course they do. Look at that. They want to take a leap of faith. This king of wands wants to take a leap of faith. But he's feeling trapped because of this, this message that he has to bring or a message. This person, uh, oh shit, yeah, see, look. He wants equal give and take and he wants to heal things and work things out after this ending with this single lady who is a queen of pentacles. Jeez, you guys, you see? So somebody, someone's a big fake. Someone's a big fake acting like they don't care if somebody moves on. I don't care, you know, whatever. Acting like they never really care, but low-key, that person wants healing. Hoping to heal a situation with this Queen of Pentacles, uh, you know, could have, you know, air in her chart. Because this is energy right here. This is the energy of the reading. And the energy of the reading is about truth. The Queen of Swords is about truth. You know, honesty, integrity. Use your damn brain type of energy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. But somebody's not just not doing that. Well, you know, it's because of fear. This person has fear. Doesn't want to look a certain way. Is the fearful about embarrassed be getting embarrassed or humiliated and and that's why you know you know this person might not be doing well and somebody might say hey did you hear that so and so is doing great and they're happy with their new oh i don't care but low key we know they do they care they're just faking it All right well, let's find out why huh. you see that shit the Knight of Cups. This person or somebody has an offer of love. One of these people do. Or somebody made an offer of love. You know? This could have happened to somebody already or it's going to happen or it will happen in the future. Yep. Somebody is definitely getting out of hangman mode after finding out some information. Somebody tried to start something new, right? a new beginning, and then some truth came out. Um, and, and it was that truth that wasn't discussed that kept the person in hangman mode. But then when it came out, boom, right out of it. That's all they needed to hear. Thanks for... Thanks for telling me. Have a nice day. Right? So that actually released somebody. This truth released this Queen of Swords from being trapped. And it could be, you know, in this hangman mode, trapped in her own head. And, and now she's done. She can move forward now. Now she can move forward because she knows the truth and she knows where she can go. You know, like when the hang, hang uh, woman is in the reverse, you know, she's, she kind of looks like she's coming out of a... A genie bottle or something, you know, like, but she's, she's in the upright. It's, that, it's like she's standing now. See, before, she's like hung. She doesn't know what to do. Oh, look at that. She looks like she's hanging there like, uh, like, you know, how the cocoon of the butterfly, it, it sticks by like a little, it looks like a little, the end, of, the little corner of it, right? But once it gets out, yeah, she's ready to go. And that's what's happening here. Some truth came out, somebody spoke their truth, and someone said, okay, that's fine. Haul ass, right? 
Look, the emperor. The emperor has all the qualities of all the kings. So a message may come in about somebody in this energy. Somebody may have found a uh, an emperor. An emperor found them. Or this person who acted like he didn't care may have turned into the emperor because of some sort of trials and tribulations. Possibly, possibly knowing, yeah, possibly knowing that somebody is like cutting them out. And somebody's moving on with their life, not really not caring. Well, maybe they care a little bit, but <clears throat> at least they know that they can move on now, right? Because they were in hanged man mode before. Now they're not, right? But once somebody was set free, free to go be that flying butterfly out into the whatever fields, that information that this guy got that hurt him the emperor or whoever he was before the emperor which could possibly be that king of wands right you see how the emperor has a big ass coin behind him do you see that kind of like he was hiding his coins or he's hiding his coins sitting on his coins so no one takes it Then some news came in about somebody moving on with their life. So some truth came to him, too. Who, you know, could have been that king of wands that got that info that said he didn't care when he really did. Now he knows that somebody's moving on because he never thought they'd move on, but they did. And that bumped him up to emperor mode because now he's tripping. <clears throat> he learned a lesson. He lost something that uh, he didn't want to lose. Not taught him a lesson. Why? Because he was too passionate about finance, money, material wealth. He's not even balanced. It's kind of like a person who gets a lot of money and he's greedy. He wants to hoard all the money. He doesn't want to share it. Or if he does, he, 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 he squanders it and spends it foolishly. Like, you know, hotels and partying and hanging out with friends and that money will be gone in no time no time at all somebody came into some money some riches some material items trust it'll be gone in no time this person is a is a doesn't know how to save you know They, pra they practice bad habits, probably drug and alcohol use or something, I don't know. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and find out what these cards are all about. Why is the hanged woman in the reverse? Why is the hanged woman in the reverse? Queen of Pentacles, yep. She's the Queen of Pentacles. Bet the single lady card will fly out. Well, we got the King of Cups here. Queen of Pentacles could be involved with the King of Cups, air sign and water sign. Male or female, it doesn't matter. You could swap those two even, whatever. They could both have each sign in the chart. But, uh, yeah, no, I think these are two people right here, and the Queen of Pentacles and the King of of cups is you know king of cups went after the queen of pentacles because and that's what the news was because he thought that the queen of pentacles was going to bring some sort of stability so you know truth came to the queen of pentacles about that so we could be dealing with the queen of pentacles uh and an emperor now now they're an emperor anyways yeah a choice needs to be made between these two so I'm feeling that there's going to be some conversations coming in now, yeah. There's going to be some truth. There's going to be some emotions here. Why is the emperor here?
Yeah, he's not going to receive any wish fulfillment. Right? He's not. If, if he's going to receive any, anything, it's going to be selfishness and excess. Because he was selfish, right? He was selfish about this situation. He excessively did things that he shouldn't have. And that's why he's not going to have this wish fulfillment. Maybe he didn't make the right choice. Why else is the emperor here? Yeah, and that's all going to happen after this conversation that is had. Yep, double confirmation. There you have it. There you have it. Four of Pentacles. See, I told you. this. It's like he's sitting on his money. He's, he's selfish. He's stingy. He's holding on to something. Now, he could be holding on to a memory, but I think that this person is so selfish that he was after money, always after stability, other people's stability, other people's money. And once he got it, he hid it, and he held on to it like some sort of miser, like some sort of Scrooge. Selfish excessively selfish yeah but after he has this conversation you know he's holding on to money he's going to have a conversation with somebody and he's he's not going to get that that wish fulfillment he could have um, earth in his chart Earth and fire. <laughs> mm -hmm. So yeah, he was he was hoarding. He was hoarding money. You know, he was being selfish. There's nothing wrong with hoarding money, but when you're hoarding money and you're telling everybody that you're broke, you ain't got no money, and then you start taking advantage of people to get money, that's a different story. And, you know, the punishment for that is pretty severe from the universe using people like that. King of Wands could have been a Ten of Cups energy. Look at that. King of Wands is, is financially stable, has a Ten of Cups. Oh, wait a minute, but this is not a celebration. We got the, we got the queen of, uh we got the three of cups in the reverse though. One more card, please. Yeah. Oh. This is the sun card. This doubles as the sun card or fighting one last time. But there's, you know, there's no happy. So that's what I see here. This person got into a relationship for finances, for money, right? To have that ten of cups happy family, but they're not happy. There's no celebration here. And this person, you know, looks at this other individual as the sun, right? person got into a relationship, shared emotions and love with somebody, two of cups. This is also um, the temperance card. This is about patience, and somebody wasn't patient. They rushed into something, and now they're unhappy. Actually, yeah, there's no party or celebration here. They're acting like they're happy, though. They seem, they appear happy. I mean, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, look. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Lover. Working things out. Oh, deception. Deception. Because of juggling with the Queen of Swords. Who feels left out in the cold. We also have the Queen of Wands here. Yeah. 
So apparently this Queen of Swords had a message for this Queen of Cups or, or has a message for the, the uh, Knight of Cups. I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles. Gosh, can't even get it out. Queen of Pentacles had wish fulfillment, uh, is, 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 uh, in the energy of no wish fulfillment in this marriage, right? This Queen of Pentacles is, um, yeah, is not going to have wish fulfillment in regards to, to this Ten of Cups energy, right? She may have been interested in the King of Cups, and there's a conversation that needs to be had because, uh, somebody doesn't want a three-party situation anymore, right? They're in a marriage. But, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This is one of those, this is one of those, uh, polygamy things or like open relationship type of situations right here. Yeah. Somebody might be happy having that sort of situation. This king of, king of cups, you know, Likes to talk to a lot of other people, but I mean, it's showing here that there, <clears throat> there's no three party situation, but a conversation. But this per this King of Cups needs to make a choice on, you know, he needs to make a choice. It is a three party situation, you know. It is. It is. And this guy, he's got to make. He's got to make a choice. He's holding on to something. He's holding on to something that. Reminds him of sunshine, you know, so he's dealing with one person, possible marriage, wife, whatever, and he needs to make a choice on if he wants to hang on and, and be the emperor, so, you know, yeah. It's kind of an odd reading, so right now what I'm feeling with this reading is that Somebody is ascending into um, like a higher level of consciousness, right? Because, you know, you don't become the emperor just like from one day to the next. You go through trials and tribulations. You go through all kinds of bullshit to get there, right? You get, uh, shit, you get dragged through the mud, right? Up the mountain, through the rocks, wherever, however. And that guy did. And somebody here person here is, you know, acquaintance, they're, they know their worth now, and they no longer want to hang around waiting for somebody who's not consistent, somebody who's not um, willing to put in any work, and that's what it looks like is going on here. Somebody may have come into some money somehow, and it could have been through marriage, and they show everybody, oh yes, I am so happy, I am so abundant, but low-key, deep down inside, they're not. I think he sleeps on the couch even. That's what I'm feeling here. I just got the picture of somebody just like ready for bed and then, and then they fall asleep on the couch to make it seem like they fell asleep on the couch but they didn't. They just didn't want to go to sleep with that person. Yeah, that sucks. Let's go ahead and see what the love messages have here. That was a weird sight in my head. The energy is like, ugh, I gotta go home. You know, like they don't wanna go home. You know, every day they're like, ugh. Yeah. The person that left, the, the person that uh, told this truth, who put somebody in hangman mode, but now they're out of hangman mode, is a very ungodly person. This person doesn't even, is not spiritual, they don't believe in God, they're a very selfish individual. And that person kept somebody in hangman mode for the longest. But, you know, at least, at least they came in and told some truth, which actually set that person free, right? 
they thought maybe saying something to this person might save, or maybe they said the wrong thing, the words didn't come out right, but either way, this person could tell and figured it out, use their intuition, and said, okay, great, thanks, bye, right? And um, you could have actually met this person while you were on vacation, maybe. They could have met you on vacation. Somebody here was on vacation. Let's make up. Hmm. I don't know. It's kind of iffy with the, the truth that came in. I'm not too sure now. Q N H J 7 and T. Those letters uh, might resonate. First, middle, last initial. We also have somebody's heart chakra is open. Somebody is just about ready to speak to their communication. The throat chakra is almost open. They're ready to talk. They're, they're just still trying to make that choice. Yeah, look, there it is. Selfish right there front and center. Selfish. And they were selfish with a very graceful individual. She's fierce now, though. <laughs> She or he, whoever that resonates with. We have letters um, D, W, Q, H, N. First, middle, last initial. And uh, somebody's just about ready to speak here, but they're not really using their intuition too much. Nah. Now we have, I'm thinking of you right now. <laughs> so... Whoever this is resonating with, the person who is unhappy in this marriage or relationship, that's, you know, I mean, they're financially stable, though, right? They got into a nice, they thought they found a nice family, happy family, happy home, lots of money. You know, maybe there's a family business, I don't know, but someone here is uh, falling asleep on the couch every night is not happy, I don't know. If, if that is, then I wonder what happiness is to them. Never met anyone like you. I was misled. Wow. We do have the letter T here only, so somebody could resonate with that, right? And then uh, somebody's heart chakra finally opened. Somebody definitely working on that root chakra. And uh, we have the uh, sacral chakra, emotions. Somebody's emotions are being worked on here. So, yeah. That's what I have for you guys today for the uh, daily news for September 26, 2020. If it resonated, please uh, subscribe, like, comment below. Also, um, keep it true love energy, happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear because we stay calm, we stay cheerful, and um, <laughs> you know what? Uh, live in your own truth. Don't live in a in a uh, world of unhappiness, of, of ego, and because that's what this person is doing. They're not happy where they're at, but they're faking it. Don't ever fake it, you guys. I'm Mona, this is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I'll speak to you next time.